hello everyone welcome back my dear students so in the previous videos we learned that how we can create the events on the calendar how to display them on the calendar and how to drag and drop this calendar and how to destroy this calendar and change their event style and stuff like that right so here now i'm planning to add some more videos on this calendar js series because i have got a lot of views and a lot of comments and likes on this series so that's why i'm going to reshoot this uh, uh, not reshoot i'm going to basically air upgrade this series so for now there is 14 videos uh, 14 videos on this uh, in this playlist and i'm going to now add uh, uh, some more features like how you can create the event based on time so in the previous videos we learned that how we can add them based on their dates so now i'm going to planning to change them uh, from their time also so you can drag and drop by time so you can set the event time by drag and drop okay and uh, then one more thing here today in this video i'm going to explain that uh, how you can change the event color event background color and event border so let's get started so here i have opened my project here and my project uh, is full calendar in laravel so you can also get this from the github repository so here this one okay so now i'm going to open this into the here i have opened this out and uh, i'm going to let me show you full calendar js so i have found this link how to change the color in the full calendar right so that's why i'm mentioning this out here right and here you need to pass the color property and text color and then you can pass the border color so you can change the event color so we are adding them on the runtime so that's why i'm changing this uh, from the controller side right so you can do this uh, from the event side but these are the hard-coded events so we want to pass them dynamically from the laravel side so you can also visit this uh, event color like this and you can change the color right but i'm not going to do this here because i want to return it from the controller end right so now let me open the controller so what's the controller name it would be a calendar controller and here on the calendar i'm returning a color so this is the color which uh, i picked uh, someone uh, some color and then this color is visible here so basically this is the this is a color of event right event text so how you can change its event background color so now let's get started so here you need to let me comment this out and uh, first i'm going to change the background color with the same so you can pass this black right first i'm going to do this with the color name so now i pass this color so you remember you need to pass this exact color key otherwise it's not going to work so in the previous video so like we did this we pass this title as this title and start and end so you need to pass this same keys otherwise calendar will not understand that you are passing the color to the calendar so if you pass this color so this will understand that this is a color property it's going to apply this back color save this one and now let's get refresh and take eye on this event right so now this one is uh, gone black right so first let me uh, make the full size of event so in the previous video uh, let me open the index plate of this calendar and in the previous videos we changed our calendar uh, event style from here right so you can also do this with the css but i'm preferring the jquery because we can do this at the runtime so in the css you can do this at once save this one and now it's going to display the full event right and yes it's now displaying the full event great we uh, did this right and if i go back here now let me close this out and here i'm going to now change the color right so i'm going to change the text color so you need to define same property as text color this exists in the calendar js so you can visit the calendar js uh, official documentation that uh, if you are version uh, using version 3 so which color uh, property is added in this version so you can check out the version and check its keys and uh, you can do whatever uh, exists in the calendar js so here i'm going to change this red right 
save this one and let's uh, give it a refresh and yes now this color is changed right so now your query comes that how we can change this uh, with the hexadecimal values because these colors are limited if i want to pause some custom one how i can do this so now let's open here html color codes dot com website where you can get the, all of the colors so here oops let me go to the top and here you can uh, pick uh, any of the color so let me choose uh, green right so just to copy this hexadecimal code from there and let's go back and here you need to pass this same like you pass this red so you need to pass the first hash which is used to indicate the color hexadecimal color and then paste this color right save this one and now let's take eye on this one so now it's going to change from red to green i refresh the web browser and yes now it's changed you from red to green right so in this same you can also update this one like you want to make this for gray or some silver so you can do this right so it's pretty same so now uh one more property how you can change the border of event so for example this event contain a black border but i want to change a different border right so how i can change this color so i'm going to make this uh, uh, text uh, i think it would be a text border i'm not sure i will confirm this if it's not going to work and here i'm going to change this with the what i'm going i'm going to assign this thread for uh, easy to uh, easy to view it right so you can do whatever you want and yes it's not applied so here this would be i think uh, let me review it from there it would be a border color okay guys so here you need to oops you need to pass the key of border color border oops border i added this border color so now it's good border color and let's get refresh and yes now this border color is applied on this event so in this way you can update its border color its text color and its background color so even you can also change this um, full calendar uh, full calendar js color background but i'm not going to do this because it's going to display very weird right so you can do this that's it for this video and if you like this video please share your feedback in the comment box and uh, what are the new things you want to add this in the in this series so please suggest, uh, suggest them on the comment box so i will try to shoot them in the next videos so Stay connected. Bye-bye.